Hi everyone. Uh, I wasn't quite expecting to be back chatting with you quite so quickly, uh, but it's a ever moving feast as we're starting to describe it in regards to our current circumstances. Uh, today, the South Australian government made a major announcement, and that is that the last week of school, uh, which is goes from uh, Monday the 6th of April through to Thursday the 9th of April, just prior to the Easter holidays, is, uh, is now a pupil free week. Uh, if you recall last night I announced that we were going to make the Thursday the 9th of April a pupil free day uh, the South Australian government have now extended that for the whole week and we will be complying with that uh, it makes sense for us to come in line with what pretty well every other South Australian school is going to do so what does that mean well it means that all academic work uh, in terms of academic provision by start teaching staff will finish uh, at the end of the week prior to that. So for, for our Tyndale schools, that's week nine. Uh, week 10 will be a pupil free week. And uh, in one sense, this will give our staff more opportunity to work on the things that we have uh, discovered from today and uh, in terms of our testing and be able to be even better prepared for whatever may come in term two. However, I just want to give you a heads up that we will adjust week 10 or the that final week that's going to be a pupil free week uh, slightly. First is, is that while it'll be a pupil free week, uh, those families who are involved with the emergency services, and that's already been listed by the South Australian and Australian governments as to what that uh, defines. If you are in one of those essential services, and you are not able to provide um, alternative care for your children without having to stop working, which is what we do not want you to do, then we will provide an alternative program here at school on the Monday, the Tuesday, and the Wednesday. So please understand that while the Thursday will remain as I announced last night, that is a, just a pupil-free day, uh, where you will need to look at vacation care or an alternative uh, means of looking after your children the Monday the Tuesday and the Wednesday we will provide a program uh, for those emergency service families who have no other option uh, who can't cannot find an alternative arrangement and require their children to be at school while they are doing their very important job of looking after our communities we will be open for you and I'll talk to you a minute bit about what that's going to look like secondly and this is going to have to be something that you're going to have to work out with either your sub-school principal or your campus principal. If there are other families who have absolutely no other option of looking after their children on those three days, and this may actually put your employment at risk, then we will absolutely provide an opportunity for your children to be with us as well. However, well, we are going to ask all families including those who are, who are involved in the essential services, that your first priority is try to find an alternative arrangement. If you can't, please contact us, let us know, and we will organise the program around the number of children that we have here. We don't want people uh, not being engaged in essential services, and we certainly don't want families uh, having to risk their ongoing employment and financial circumstances either we want you to know that in this case we will absolutely look after you in that regard we would still say though that any student who is in year 10 or above it would be our overall expectation that they don't need to be at school uh, they should be able to look after themselves as much as possible however we're not going to make that a blanket rule and again if you believe that you're year 10, year 11 or year 12 student needs to be at school and please remember it won't be an academic program uh, but you don't have any other alternatives in looking after them and you do not feel that it's either safe or um, appropriate for them to be at home by themselves without super adequate supervision then we will also uh, open our doors and enable uh, them to be able to be here and, and be looked after by us as well. So. That's the parameters about who should be turning up in week 10, uh, 6th to 9th of April. However, 
what's the program going to look like? Well, I want to make it very clear that it'll be a non-academic care program. We will not be running classes. We will not be teaching. We will not be working with your children on their programs and their work. It, it will absolutely not be um, an academic program because we actually will want our staff to be best preparing themselves and getting themselves ready for next term. And the South Australian Government have given us that window of opportunity to be able to do that. And so I want to encourage you to understand that if your children are going to come to us, uh, we won't be running classes uh, as normal. It will be a non-academic care program. So what will it look like? Well, we will encourage you to send your children to school. If they come with a laptop with some of their school work on it, they can do that, but we won't be supervising it or correcting them. They may want to come uh, to school with their iPads or their laptops, and you may want to put on it a school-appropriate, age-appropriate movie for them to watch. We will look after them as well. You may want to send them with some board games. You may want to send them with a good book to read. You may want to send them to school with a soccer ball and a basketball and those sorts of things. We will look after them but we won't be running programs uh, as such. So please understand, you send your kids to us, we will be providing a babysitting service to look after you, your children, while they're with us. We will run a few activities outside where they can get some fresh air uh, and make sure that they're eating their morning tea and their lunches and hydrating properly. We will be managing all of the physical distancing that we need to put in place and that we've put in place over the last couple of weeks. We'll make sure that there's good social distancing at uh, the break times and when they're out running around. But uh, overall, we will just look after your kids uh, while they're here, but please send as much as you can with them so that they can amuse themselves uh, while we will have uh, staff there looking after them. The vast majority of the staff uh, will be getting on with their, with their work uh, and we will have a roster system where we look after your children making sure that there is a, uh, a teaching person uh, available uh, should they be required. Uh, if you've got any questions about that, please don't hesitate to contact us. But remember, that's for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, uh, we really need to be locked down and working really hard on getting ready for next term. Uh, and so Thursday, it is a pupil-free day and you'll need to find alternative arrangements outside of school. I hope that's clear. If it's not, I apologise. It's been a, a whirlwind of a few couple of weeks and we're doing the best we can. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you need any further uh, clarification or explanation around that. God bless. Uh, it's, who knows what we're going to be announcing tomorrow. We are waiting on what's happening uh, out there in the rest of the world, but we're doing what we can on the basis of information that we've received. We're wishing you well. God bless. We'll be in touch soon. Thank you.